We have some extra seats here. Please, uh, those that are elderly, please come forward and take advantage of the seats. If we could step forward, step in so that we can hear the ministers. Today, the military honors are going to be bestowed first. We've gathered here today to pay our respects to Jim Curtis Tickle. He was our comrade, our co-worker, our friend, and your loved one. So he has touched the life of each of us in one way or the other. He served in the United States Army under the flag of his country in World War II. The military honor guard that is serving here today is made up of selected men from the American Legion, the veterans of foreign wars, disabled American veterans, and the North Carolina National Guard. All have served their country during time of war. We are reminded here today the frailty of human life and the tenure by which we hold our own. At such an hour as you think not, the final summons may come, which no one disobeys. On the sands of time, many civilizations have risen and fallen. Many generations have come and gone. Many wars have been fought, some with battles lost and some with battles won. So we want to give thanks to our comrade here today for his service to his country. He pledged himself to defend the Constitution of the United States of America, even to give his life if necessary, to keep his nation the land of the free and the home of the brave. May future generations not disappoint nor forget our comrade's service to his country. May we pray. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us faultless with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forevermore, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now I want to remind the family and friends that the noise that the weapons make. And today when we play taps, if you're able, please stand is our departed comrade was a member of the greatest generation ever. So let's pay the respect that he, could, that he just so richly deserved.
This banner of love and devotion now being folded is a living memorial of the courageous thoughts of our comrade, the one that you came here to honor this day. The blue field represents the sky that overlooks our land and denotes the watchfulness of God the Eternal. The red stripes tell us of the blood, sweat, and tears that have been offered and conquered by a comrade's devotion to the responsible freedom of his country. The white stripes boldly proclaim the peace that is helped to bring to future generations. This is his flag. This is our spiritual heritage. Receive it with the tears of our mind and the faith of our hearts. On behalf of a grateful nation, please accept this flag as a token of appreciation for your loved one's service to his country. May God bless. Here at the graveside, we want to uh, say again how much I love the family and love my, my family. I always, I'm always used to saying love the family. Here I, I, I did say I love my family. I'm thankful for your goodness to 
the goodness and mercy of the Lord on us. Uh, now, Jan, uh, Alan's wife, has a poem she wants to read today. I guess it's and it's very soothing to him. It's called Safely Home. I am home in heaven, dear ones, oh so happy and sublime. There is perfect joy and beauty in this everlasting life. All the pain and grief is over, every restless toss and pass. I am now at peace forever, safely home, heaven at last. Did you wonder I so calmly trod the valley of shade? Oh, but Jesus' love illumined every dark and fearful day. And he came himself to me, to meet me, in that way so hard to tread, and Jesus' arm to lean on. Could I have one doubt or dread? Then you must not grieve so sorely, for I love you dearly still. Try to look beyond earth's shadows. Pray to trust our Father's will. There is work still waiting for you. So you must not idly stand. Do it now while life remains. You shall rest in Jesus. When that work is all completed, he will gently call you home. Oh, the rapture of that meeting. Oh, the joy to see you come. All right, I'm going to read just a few verses of Scripture. You might as well body to come and pray for us at the end of here. And, uh, we thank you for, again, I appreciate that good poem. We just pray that God will have His way in our life. And I know these are some verses of uh, Poppy, of course, being a Sunday school teacher all those years and teaching from the Bible. And, uh, the, these words that he's read, no doubt, many times. But in uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter number 4, he said, But I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For well, this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout and the voice of the archangel. The trump of God, the dead in Christ, shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Those words are comforting. It, what Daniel said earlier about what Colton said, Will I see Poppy again? Will we see him again? That's the answer to that question. Will we see him again. If you know the Lord as your Savior, uh, we'll see the Lord, but we'll see our loved ones as well. And I'm thankful today that God loves us. This is uh, such a blessing to know Him and to have a friend like we just in our life. I might as well the Bible to come around if He has a word to say and He's going to dismiss us in prayer. Let's pray. Father, for this family that has come as far as they can with their loved ones, now they're feeling grief and sorrow and hurt. Lord, they're leaving here with broken hearts. Lord, you have the salve of grace, the ability to help. Lord, I pray that you'll speak to each of these hearts, this family. I pray you'll manifest yourself in a special way, in a dear way. Lord, for these are the family that know Christ as Savior, Lord, we know that you're their consolation. There's some that could be here that know not Christ. May they seriously consider this hour, this time, this situation. We thank you for the good testimony left behind. Lord, it's an example to all of us. May we live our lives as to that example. Well, again, have your will and your way and bless this family if you'd ever need. And we'll thank you in Jesus' name we ask it. Amen. Amen.
take care of yourself, boys. You're doing big hands. I've seen him crawling on you. I started to step over. I said, well, that was funny. That's what I'm his leg. Shoot some easy boots. This completes our service field. Uh, we can move over here. It's going to take the, uh, uh, the people about an hour after this to prepare the grave. And uh, you may can come back at a later time after, after they have done all that they're going to do. So you may just want to move off to the left here and uh, greet friends and family. <laughs>